Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about hitting the sunshine coma. In Canada, our summer is short. Let's face it, we basically have July and August of some nice, warmer, sunny weather, and we certainly don't want to be stuck in an office not being able to enjoy it. The problem is when we don't acknowledge the fact that we do want to be outside and we are likely on holidays and not at our desks, not keeping up with our business and not forwarding some of the actions that are crucial heading into the fall. The summer months are some of the trickiest to manage when you're an entrepreneur and running a business. Q3, the third quarter, so that being July, August, and September, are absolutely crucial that they are set up correctly such that you can enjoy some of the summer and get your business done. Now, one of the challenges in the third quarter and the summer months is that it is more difficult perhaps to reach some of your audience. They are on holidays. They're not at their computers. Your audience is in a different place. You need to find out where does your audience live in those summer months? Where is it that you find them? Is it perhaps more on their email boxes and social media and less surfing the internet, maybe looking at your website or looking for products. Maybe they have a smartphone device and all they do is check that as they go through their summer months lighter on the work schedule. So you need to know where are your clients so that you can maintain a presence of mind with them. You also need to be aware of the fact that if you are trying to launch something or get onto people's minds in September, beginning in September, you have already missed the boat. It is too late. You need to start your campaigns in July and August, even if they look like drip campaigns through social media or email so that you can stay top of mind when the fall arrives, not waiting to the fall to start. You also want to have a very focused list written out as to what are you going to do if you're not going to be at your desk a lot and you are going to be outside enjoying that amazing sunshine. How is it that you are going to continue to progress your business? How are you going to move your business forward? Rather than just going into stasis and just keep up, what are the crucial initiatives for you to do through the summer months that do set you up for the fall for success? So perhaps you need to put the finishing touches on a product. Maybe you already have a, a book or an e-zine or an article and you need to rework that. Just make sure that it stays current. Um, maybe you're looking at some of your website material, copy or the website functionality itself. Um, maybe you're making a new list so that when you hit the fall, you've already got your current list going, but you have a fresh and new list to work from for some of your marketing or uh, within an organization, sales, your cold calling, etc. You really want to make sure that you have these things handled so that when the sunshine coma hits you in your office or your home, your business is not left with no one at the helm. When you handle these things, you will have your business set up to succeed not only through the summer and the treacherous third quarter, but also hit the ground running and really go from average to awesome in the fourth quarter. Take care everyone, enjoy.